For the first time in 46 years, Taiwan will get through July without a single typhoon making landfall. That's what the Central Weather Bureau is expecting based on the models of low pressure systems in the region. Even so, Taiwan should brace for rain this weekend as a low pressure system near the Philippines appear on track to intensify. Amid the scorching sun, the CWB again issued high temperature warnings on Tuesday. Meanwhile, the Pacific High has drifted north, which means the low pressure area near the Philippines' Luzon Island could intensify. According to U.S. meteorological forecasts, it could develop into a storm system this weekend. Currently in the sea east of the Philippines, there are several tropical cloud clusters waxing and waning. It's an environment that's fairly favorable for further developments. But as for when we will have a mature system, such as a tropical depression or even a typhoon, we can only determine that with more observation and data analysis. The CWB says it's too soon to tell whether a typhoon is in the making. What's certain is that Taiwan will not be struck by a typhoon in July for the first time in 46 years. At present, it's looking like the environment will change in August. Compared to the atmospheric circulation seen in July, conditions in August will be more conducive to tropical storm systems. On Sunday and Monday, the disturbance of moisture near Luzon will begin to affect Taiwan, bringing rain to eastern and southern parts of the country. Starting Sunday, southern and eastern Taiwan will feel the effects of a low-pressure system to the south, which will bring intermittent rains and afternoon showers to mountainous areas. How heavy the rains are will depend on whether the tropical system matures. I'd like to remind everyone that over these coming days, afternoon thunder showers will become more common and brief downpours are likely. Damp weather is up ahead. Those heading up to the mountains this weekend should keep an umbrella handy and be on the alert for afternoon storms.